Okay, I want to make a video showing my what I've got going on here uh, with regards to magnets. I've got a wheel here uh, with big or with microwave oven magnets on it. They're too deep. <coughs> I'm driving it with this little motor I got out of a printer. Uh, my pulse width modulator. It has variable frequency. That's why it's so big and nasty looking. Running off a uh, 12 volt battery. I have the um, amperes being used from the battery being measured. And I have the uh, two coils on. This is a Ed Lead Scalin uh, PMH, perpetual motion holder. These are coat hanger wires. I've cut and bent into shape. There's also a threaded. Um, like a bolt I bent into shape as well kind of in the middle anyways uh, that's my core I have it on either side of the magnet so this will be north south north south they're alternating um, now I have it hooked up here as a pickup coil uh, I'm going to be doing some different things and testing different things different ideas different concepts I've been um, thinking about lately uh, in the last month or two um, I'll probably make a video of Ed hey Ed no, it doesn't want to focus you're too cryptic anyways there's Ed he's with me keeping his eye on the PMH but I'm going to be doing some testing uh, with this and different coil um, configs. Now I've gone through a couple different setups with my wheel and magnets and that's what's taken me so long is um, and I, <laughs> I I'm gonna make another setup actually I've, in the last day or two decided I need I, I want it to spin you know in the plane of the earth surface right I think that's important so I want to do that but so maybe I'll just keep this set up and make another one as well but uh, the things I want to test here um, I want to test both but uh, I can get this going settles down at once it gets up to speed. That little wheel's pretty heavy actually with eight microwave oven magnets on it. Um, now I have the uh, coils wired in series coming into this meter and it gives me about 11.6 or 7 AC volts. Haven't tested any uh, output anything other than that I just got it set up and I wanted to make a video and let people know I'm working on things here actually quite a bit my I, actually I clean my desk up here <laughs> um, but my whole little place here is a is a mess right now because I've been fiddling around making things but I think I'm gonna make another setup here but I'm gonna be doing testing with this I have some different ideas with that that I want to go through and I'm pretty excited actually to try the things I'm thinking of but this is how it sits right now uh, tonight I'm gonna to fart around with this a little bit how I want to and um, I'll show you the results so three quarters of an amp is what it's pulling. There's a lot of attraction moving through these uh, through this core because both sides of the magnet are being used. So the magnetism is isn't lost to space. It stays in that core and in the magnet. I mean more so than a, a normal core setup. And there we go. Just want to make a bit of that showing you guys my setup what's going on. See Ed? He's excited too. 
he, he doesn't talk to me but yet, but uh, he can read my mind, I think. <laughs> Anyways, this is what I'm working on. Things on the go. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, for anyone new to my channel that may be, because I'm going to be, now that I have this set up, it's taken me a while, believe it or not. It looks real simple and everything, but balancing and getting everything straight, especially having the core on either side of the magnet is very important because uh, it really wants to move as well as the wheel. <clears throat> but to anyone new to my channel, if you haven't heard of Ed Lead Scalman, there's his handle there on his sleeve. He built a place in Florida called Coral Castle. Um, I've made a vid in the past. I have it private actually, um, because in it I beg for people to um, click on my ads. <laughs> that's a way to donate. But I've since found that found out that that's a big no-no. So I made it private. But in it I show how his wheel actually has a homopolar effect. But I've also <laughs> recently seen a couple other very, very um, interesting things about his wheel to go along with that. So I'll make a video of that and um, as well as my progress here with my machine. But anyways, to anyone new here, uh, Ed Lead Scalman made a place called Coral Castle. Very, very interesting. This guy by himself made a castle out of blocks that are tons in weight. Um, there's lots of videos on YouTube talking about him. And, but uh, he's uh, someone I'm very interested in. Anyways, Coral Castle, something very interesting to look into if anyone uh, is curious. But there you go. There's my setup, my PMH. I might file the ends down and show it work as a PME, uh, perpetual motion holder, but uh, we'll see, and uh, I'll, I'll be back.